All right, uh, let's get started. Uh, three, two, one, go. Yeah. Woo. Freeze right. me. And so it begins. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you, have, you have no idea how excited I am. All right, so uh, right off the bat, I'm going to try to jump towards this pig that uh, is right over here. Uh, that uh, should spawn a text box right there. Mm -hmm. That's right. okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so this is basically an auto-scroller. Can't really do anything about it. I also have to do this in order to unlock another cube that I need for the run. Yeah, a lot of this game is laid out like uh, a lot like SM64, where all of the cubes, which serve no actual purpose in the game, uh, are accessible at any point. This is one of the only ones where you have to follow this guy in order to spawn a cube later. Yeah. Yeah, so right now I'm just going to go activate a teleporter that I'm going to use for later cubes. And then we're just going to go grab the first one. All right, there we go. Had a little trouble there. So uh, right here, he mentions the freeze ability and how you can use it to freeze this guy and jump off of him. But you can just <laughs> jump off of him like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first cube. All right, fingers crossed. All right. We're good. Now we're good. Now, now we're good. We're now, good. We're now we're good. Yeah, now we're good. <laughs> we're in there. All right. So, um, quick thing. Uh, it's very important that I spawn into the hub world like this because there's about a 10% chance that the game can soft lock. And uh, obviously, I don't want that to happen. It's every time he collects a cube, by the way. Yeah. And we're getting 25 24. of them. Yeah. Or 24 yeah. of them yeah. can soft lock. Yeah. yeah. So. Every time, every time it happens, I'm probably gonna donate like ten dollars. So hopefully, I don't break my wallet. So and you'll know <laughs> when the soft locks happen. It's very yeah. obvious. Yeah, and all of us will be very sad. Yes. So this cube, I'm gonna use the uh, aforementioned freeze ability to freeze this elevator right here, so that I can get up to a uh, button, so that I can open up that cage and get that cube. Yeah, he right he made that look super easy. The freeze ability yeah. is not easy to use in this game. Yeah, the camera's in, the camera is inverted, and even then, it's like kind of hard to to control it. Just gonna jump over here, and there we go. Nice. Very nice. nice. <laughs> that was the first of like three fixed camera sections throughout the game. Yeah. Uh, he got that little text box that popped up that said, "You can't move your camera anymore. It's all fixed." Yeah, and you'll see it a lot. The fastest form of movement in the game is to dive, and then when you hit the ground, just jump and then dive again, and just do that repeatedly, because every time you touch the ground, the dive refreshes. Yeah, so uh, right now, I'm going to be doing uh, the first of four bosses in the run. Uh, each world has their own kind of like, their own cubes, and then three like cubes that like are uh, like, uh, Tied to a mini boss. Yeah, yeah. it's tied yeah. to a boss. Uh, there's one that's tied to like a, a clock, and there's one that is tied to getting 150 red coins. Won't be doing any of those because those are slow. Those take so long. Yep. So just gonna climb up this mountain and meet our first boss, Logolo, and also get our first screw of the run, which I need to activate the catapults that are around the the world. So you just talk to that guy, and he gives you a screw for visiting him in the pool because he's lonely or something. All right. I'm so surprised you go for that side flip up. So this is Logolo. Um, basically, what I need to do is activate these minion-sounding guys and freeze Logolo, have them explode, and nice. there you go. Nice. Dead. Quick kill. <laughs> All right. Okay. There, there is a chance that like he he won't die, and you have to actually like hit him again in order to actually kill him. So Mildew, I don't I don't think you've explained why is the game in German. All right. So uh, the game's in German uh, because at the time. Uh, in Breath of the Wild, German was the fastest language. So I was like, hey, my game has German in it. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> I started a run, loaded, up, loaded it up in German, got a gold, so it's fast. Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, 
Right here, I'm going to use the teleporter that I activated earlier to get that cube that's on just a planet that's in the middle of the world. Yeah, these, these teleporters save a lot on travel time overall. It's very optimal. Yeah, if you guys watch very closely, uh, my glasses actually stay where they are. That's not a bug. It's a feature. As in, we've told the, we told the dev in beta that, like, hey, this thing happens. And he's like, that's fine. That's okay. It looks cool. <laughs> the players will really love it. Yeah, it's, it's great. All right, so I'm just going to unlock this catapult. Uh, that might be... Uh, oh. Uh, oh. That's, too far. that's fine. I can get over there, like, really fast. Oh, the music just restarted nice. itself. <laughs> cool. Nice Speaking of the music, uh, one really redeeming quality of this game is the music is really good. Yeah. Yeah, it it's, really it's really good. Wish I could buy the soundtrack or something somewhere. All right, there we go. Also, that cube is just as easy as it looks. You just point at it and you get it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, we're good. Yeah, you'll, you'll know it soft locks if uh, it tries to load the hub again very fast. Yeah, it's very it's very obvious if I soft lock. All right. So we're just gonna go back into Biako Hills over here. <laughs> <laughs> I really I really wish we had like a native German speaker here to tell us if that was an accurate translation of, what is it, Sunshine, Sunshine, Sunshine Valley? Sunshine Valley, Valley. Yeah. yeah. I can jam to this. Dude, same. All right, so I'm going to use that teleporter again, and uh, we're going to do a little things out of order here. Uh, we're supposed to push blocks uh, into like this space that has like gas in it, but I can just jump right here and grab the cube. That, that's like a three minute time save. That puzzle yeah. takes Skips so long. So uh, that's an achievement that uh, I think it's grab a cube in under 40 seconds. It's like 50. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's exactly it's a something speed run achievement. Yeah, it's a speed run achievement. So the game was telling me that was fast. So that was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. Yeah, it was like 34 seconds. All right, so right there, that's a challenge door opening up. Uh, we're not going to do any of them. They're slow. They're really bad. And they only give you three, uh, five green pig coins. Uh, green pig coins, you collect 10 of them, you get a cube. That's pretty much it. It's the blue coins of this game. Yeah. All right, so this is actually the cube that I, I unlocked by following that pig in the beginning, uh, the race. Every every uh, world has them, and they're nothing too uh, major. You just go through the checkpoints and then go through the uh, finish line. But you have to go through the checkpoints, or else the game calls you a cheater, and we don't want that. All right. So uh, just going to start the, the race here. If you want to read off some donations, that'd be great. Well, actually, uh, speaking of German being faster, uh, the uh, bid war for Simpsons Hit and Run, choose the language. Uh, French has actually overtaken German. Uh, French has $5,337, and German has $4,546. So if anyone wants them to speak German and, I guess, apparently go faster, <laughs> then you should probably get your money in now. <laughs> All right, so we're getting close to the end of this race here. This sound doesn't get annoying at all to hear for 40 minutes straight. It's great. No, absolutely not. Get used to it after a while. Oh, oh I missed it. It's like 40. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, though. 41 is still a pretty good time. I'm crossing my fingers on this one because when I ran, this is sure. the one that would softlock the most. OK, we're good. All right, we're good. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I think the most somebody has gotten in a run is eight, which is... Yeah, that guy over I got, there. I got <laughs> eight in a run we did, in like a race we did once, and my final time was like an hour and 25 minutes because I had to redo so many things. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. If you soft lock, uh, you don't save the cube, so whatever cube you were doing, you have to do all over again because didn't save. Good programming. Yeah. Yes. 
All right, so we're going to do the first of two clock challenges that I do in this uh, the run. Uh, but first, I'm going to go grab another screw for a catapult in here that I need. So I'm just going to blow up this wall. All right. And then the screw is right here in this cage. All right. If I can get through a hole, that'd be great. He's made it look easy so far, but controlling R. Uh, oh, that, yeah, we didn't mention that. That's the character's name. Her name is just R. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. just the just single just letter R. Just the yeah. single letter R. Um, is not easy. She has a tendency to just hit things at really weird angles. Yeah. So this is the clock challenge. Uh, the main gimmick of it is there's a clock hidden somewhere, like very close to where the button is, and you could just freeze the timer and... Uh, grab the coins. I only need to freeze it once because it's very easy to to uh, grab all 20 after freezing it once. It's actually a really cool mechanic of freezing the actual timer itself to then do the puzzle. All right, so that's that. All right, grab the cube. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now we can clap. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the first one. Wait for the first one to happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's going to be great, too. It's going to be like one of the long ones. Marathon look. Right. So, uh, if you didn't notice, I grabbed a second teleporter, and that's I'm going to use that now so I can get over the catapult that's over by the water to grab this next cube. Which is a little difficult, not too hard though. I just need to aim the catapult in a pretty precise pres uh, position in order to be able to grab it and skip a very long platforming section. Yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these challenges were designed around uh, using R's freeze ability, which is not adequately explained in this in this world cameras freeze things and that's it that's all you get to know oh you're, you're going risky for this man <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, you know platforms move enemies like freak out i think it's about right that, there i that, need that, that uh, yeah you're, you're good all right boom, boom. nailed nice. it nice all right don't fall please oh, oh no. no that's all right didn't get the, the ledge grab there. Yeah, the ledge grabs are pretty finicky. It's a miracle if it ever happens, to be honest. All right. It just means we get to clap for you again when you get it again. Yeah. Yay. There we go. I'm really glad someone figured out that angle. Yeah, I, I, yeah. one of you guys did, absolutely. <laughs> I think it was, I it was, it was us, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, there we go. I got the cube. You're going to leave me hanging? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know I have no peripheral vision. Come on, man. <laughs> there. Thank All you. Right, All right, cool. so <laughs> oh, yeah, clap for no soft block, by the way. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to grab one more cube in uh, Bianco Hills, and then we're going to go off to the next world. How many more? Can, can we call it Bob on Battlefield next? <laughs> 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 nah, it's just Bianco Hills. <laughs> Well, I mean, there literally is a part in this game where he's... you got to have one for each Mario game. Yeah. Or yeah. he's like, I ripped off... So this off is SMS. What, Banjo-Kazooie? <laughs> yeah, SM64. This, is, this is a spiritual successor to all, like, the 3D platformers of the N64 era. Never heard that tagline before, but... You know, teach their own. All right, so I'm going to do another catapult launch. This one, I just mash B... And I get where I get to where I'm going pretty fast. Yeah, right. Mildew is a madman and rerouted this game once. And once? Shout out to more once, like more like <laughs> okay, like a bunch, like, a bunch of like, times. It was like six or seven. Uh, the, let's, be, the one, let's be real. The here. one major one was when he found out that this cube is like ten seconds faster to do than what we were doing before. And I, I don't like oh, this. Oh, no. you did not. That's no. actually really bad. It's all right though. All right, let's just take the teleporter. Uh, redo it. Yeah. It's all right. Can, is it too late to reset? Like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Yeah, hi. Yeah, hi. Ace, is this giving you, uh, is this giving you poi flashbacks? <laughs> 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 yeah, so, uh, <laughs> diving up that, that ramp multiple times is not as easy as it looks. Uh, when you dive, you lose all control of R altogether until you, like, roll out of it. And even then, you still don't have too much. All right, should be good this time. All right, so I'm just gonna freeze this top cube right here. Please oh, don't. No. Oh my god. No. You can oh, save it. All right, right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Wait, you just clipped through that, okay? Eh, don't worry about it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. Everything in this game is very well programmed. <laughs> Those platforms that he didn't stand on uh, actually break away. Hey, you away. did it. <laughs> They're the worst. All right, so that's uh, Bianco Hills done. Unlike Sunshine, we don't go back to that, so. Okay, no soft lock. Yep, no soft lock. That's pretty good. Oh, All uh, right, we need to clap for that. No soft lock, yep. right. <laughs> All right, so now we're uh, going on to Cool Cool Mountain. The official name for this level is Chili Cool Frozen Mountain. Yeah, they they <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have enough adjectives for cold, so yeah. you can just tack any more of that you want at the end. So just throw icy at there too. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this first cube that I'm going for in this level can uh, could ra can range in time from anywhere between 30 seconds and uh, the rest of my life. So. Oh, the HUD broke, by the yeah. way. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's don't worry about, totally it. about it. It's, it's trying to render at a higher resolution normal. and then fails. So I figured that out once. So it's just off screen now. All right, so uh, I didn't mention this before, but midair kicks are really useful. Uh, one use for them is to be able to like climb up walls like really easily and infinitely. And another is just to keep your height in the air. All right, there's, yeah, there's yeah. a puzzle there that we just yeah. ignore. Yeah. Yeah. If you just get on a wall, jump, and your camera is like a certain way, you can kick, and then you can just infinitely ascend up a wall by kicking up it. Yeah, it's very useful there. Also, no soft lock, by the way, yes. Also, a thing that the dev knows about and doesn't want to fix. to fix. It's okay, though. I'm not too mad about that. So, that's just the third world unlocking. All right. Um, I love that the audio cuts itself off when you do another dive. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I'm glad it does, because otherwise we'd just hear 15 of them all. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Who, who? I'd love to hear that. Me too. <laughs> I'll make a loop for you later. Yeah. Thank you. Really appreciate it. So, uh, it, there's a gravity field that's in the middle of the map that I'm just gonna jump to right here because like the force field around it is like really big so I can just do that and save three years of my life trying to get this cube. Right. We're gonna unlock this teleporter and then we're just gonna jump off here and use those kicks like I mentioned before to keep height and then climb up this wall. Yeah, and it's this gives a, a platforming section where you have to ascend this tower. Yeah. You can just do it from there. All right, and there we go. Boom. All right, and no, no stop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so far, so good. You may think we're being overly cautious about it, but like it's it's really disheartening to just have it happen in the middle of a run. Yeah. Especially when you're on good base. You can just play the game and it's soft locks. We do, we do not know the cause of these soft locks like every any time. We tried too. Yeah, we actually we tried. <laughs> we tried to like. Yeah, we tried. We tried a lot it. of things. Uh, like one of the theories was like mashing the A button after collecting a cube. That didn't work. Um, one of the theories was kicking into it. That yeah, didn't work. That didn't work. And diving into it, like falling into it getting pushed into it by an enemy into it. Like, ev we tried everything <laughs> and we couldn't get it to happen consistently. Yeah. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go to uh, these crystal maze right here. Uh, there's another uh, in inverted camera. I can't really move the camera at all. 
there's a hole in the wall right here, which took me a really long time to figure that out. Uh, oh, that's not good. Just gonna grab him, get away from that. All right. The blast radius for those enemies is way bigger than you think. Yeah, it's it's huge for no reason. And that's that cube, so. All right, and we're good. Yeah, yeah we're good. <laughs> Yeah, so the great thing about this game uh, is the fact that I can pretty much get cubes in any order. Uh, I have a route, like, I know which cubes to get, it's just sometimes I just forget which cubes I need, so it's Yeah, great. you always come back to the hub world in the same position regardless of what world you went through, so the beauty of this game, I guess, is you can do them in any order. There's just very few you have to do before a certain one. Yeah. So you could technically just go back between all three worlds in random orders if you wanted to, and that would still be a valid route. Yeah. There's there's some where you like we like we've routed in grabbing screws in the middle of them for the catapults, but that's maybe three cubes out of the entire run. All right. So uh, now I'm gonna go into this castle and fight the second boss of the game, Pontus. Uh, Pontus actually has two phases. The first phase, he's in armor, and the uh, second phase, well, you'll see, but uh, it's great. So he's going to say some stuff. Uh, he's going to raise his sword, and at that point, I, I get to kick him and do damage to him. And then after the third hit, uh, okay. So after that, we freeze him, then we kick him. Uh, let's see if he plays nice and dies on this last hit. And he does. Nice. Nice. I like that they specify unarmored and they don't translate that into another language. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Yeah. It's <laughs> great. Right. Yeah. yeah, there we yep, go. We're good. I guess the funny note about Pontus, if you could just keep kicking him hard enough, you can just get him to go through the wall. Yeah, I try to avoid that just in case I can't gra grab the cube afterwards. This is just another challenge door opening. Don't worry about that. Um, what am I going to do now? Uh, I think I should do the race. Yeah, I'm going to do the race. Um, so funny thing about this race, it's all on ice, and the ice physics in this game are really bad. Uh, not only do you slip and slide, but also if you try to jump, you lose all momentum. I mean all momentum. Like, <laughs> oh, the one is super broken. That's you broken can see again. it very tidy yeah. in the top right corner. Over there. That's all right. I don't even need to know. <laughs> this is the uh, this is the the theater mode. <laughs> this, is, this is Steam Big Picture right here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, everybody at home doesn't know this, but this run is pre-recorded. <laughs> For maximum, uh... Yeah. This is all scripted. Uh, SGDQ stands for Scripted Games Done Quick. You can, uh, quote me on that. Whoa, man, you talk about Half-Life? Yeah, sure. Alright, so, uh, basically I just slide on my belly, because it's, it's faster than doing this, because you just lose all momentum. Uh... If you want to get a couple donations in, that'd be cool. Ah, cool. That seems... Uh, oh, jeez. I didn't even see that. Uh, we have an upcoming bid war, actually, for uh, Castlevania Bloodlines, the character choice between Eric Lacard. Wait, what? 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 What just happened? I think you won the race. What, uh, what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's <laughs> what is this? New does, it, one? does it does it spawn the cube? Um, what? Did you suck? What just lock? happened? You're alive, by the way. I. Huh. Your camera's locked and you're alive. I I guess Did this you... is a soft lock. Oh, this is. This has never happened. I have Can to. You... I have to relaunch the game. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not pause? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's literally never happened before. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I cannot believe what I just saw. <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> All right. So Please donate for that soft lock, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, that's like 50 bucks right yeah, there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. So we could, we could uh, if there's any donations, I got quite a bit before actually going to the next cube. Well, um, I can uh, tell people about some of the other upcoming incentives here. There's a uh, character bid war for Castlevania Bloodlines between Eric Lacard, 
who uses a spear, and John Morris, who uses the whip. Um, currently, Eric Lacard is uh, winning. Uh, he has $1,521, and John Morris has $1,140. Um, there's also a bid war going on for Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Uh, fighter mode versus magician mode. Uh, fighter mode, you get uh, increased stats, but you can't use magic. Uh, and that's sitting at $2,710. And magician mode, where you have low stats, but you start with all of the cards and can do pretty much any spell you want, is sitting at $1,221. Uh, there's also a bid war for the hero name for Dragon Warrior 3. Uh, at $425 is the current leader of Waluigi. Uh, at $375, there's Done Tor. And at $349.47 is Command. Uh, and speaking of Dragon Warrior 3, uh, we do have an incentive for the slime ending. Uh, the uh, goal for that is $7,500. It's currently sitting at $6,927.11. All right. So I'm just uh, doing the race again. Please, ice blocks. We're good. Please don't die. Yeah, I'm don't not gonna don't die. do that again, whatever yeah, you did. I, yeah, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah clap. Right. There we go. Yeah. And now, right. now, because now we got to It's going to softball. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's going to happen. No, okay, we're right. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that would have been something. <laughs> All right, so I think there's two more cubes I have to get. Yeah, two more cubes. Uh, and then we're going to move on to the next world. Just got to load into the level here. I want the HUD to break where it's non-existent. Can do that. Oh, I'll, try to ha I'll try to have that happen. Uh, Almost. I mean, that's good enough. Almost. <laughs> that's almost it. I think I've had that happen to me like once. The HUD was just not there. Didn't notice it though, because it's all right. I don't need to know anything. All right. These, uh, these platforms are really bad. Uh, because they shake a lot, uh, you saw it happen there. I kind of lost my jump because of like, how much they're shaking, I can just get off the ground for like a second and that's all I need to like lose my jump and accidentally do a double jump. So I'm gonna do a couple of quick platforming over here. I'm gonna go over here. Step on this part where this uh, the ghost is coming up and it spawns these guys. And in order to keep them there, you gotta freeze them and you can just bounce off of them. And Aww. that was that was really weird. I. And you took fall damage somehow. What? Don't question it, dude. Okay, sure. <laughs> you can also do this cube by getting into the cannon and jumping up to the cloud above and then jumping back down. It's a good safe strat, but this method is definitely faster. Uh, by one second. <laughs> but it's still faster. Safe yeah. frame. Yeah. All right, there we go. All right, and we're good. You're good. Yeah. I'd also like to announce that we have now passed three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So Woo! yeah, that's right. All right, so one more cube to do in uh, Cool Cool Mountain, and then we're gonna go on to the next world. Uh, it is the second and final clock challenge that I do in the run. Uh, the thing about this one, though, is I can do it without freezing the timer. It's very, very, very um, hard, though. Uh, there's a couple of things I have to watch out for. Uh, there's pigs and UFOs that drop these bombs, and if I run into them, obviously they hurt me. Uh, and there's also like these uh, green gas things that hurt me as well. All right, so just press the button, press the button. Here we go. All right. He's being very nice to me so far. All right, that's yeah, the, fine. The UFO pig follows the exact route of the uh, coins that gets put up. 
Oh, that's not play good. Play it safe, play All right, we're good, we're good. Yeah, you'll yeah, be fine. All right, and there we go. Yeah, they can drop bombs directly on the blue coins, so you have no option but to get hit. All right, so now I'm just going to go I'm grab the cube, and we'll be... Oh, no. <sighs> it despawned. Guess I'm going to have to do this over again. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, nine. <laughs> I love, I love that the 09 is just off center. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the, that's the off best center, part. It's crooked. It's everything. Yeah, that's my that's my favorite part of this game. All right. All right. So, so got to do that clock challenge again. Yeah, just got to do that clock challenge again. That cube probably isn't there. Uh, huh? Guess it is. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, sure. yeah. <laughs> all right, and we're good. Yeah, we're good. Oh okay. yeah, clap, stop, log. <laughs> that would have been that would have been great if I did all that and then <laughs> and then it's soft locked. All right, so uh, now we're going on to the third world in the game uh, called Super Mario Galaxy Three. Um, it's not. It's, it's a loving homage, I guess you would say. Nah, it's 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 the it's the brand new game. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's been just in front of our face for the past three years. Yeah, yeah. Mario has an R in it's it. Just so Nintendo obviously. doesn't know about it, so shh. <laughs> can't tell them. Can't tell them. They they don't have to know about it. <laughs> All right, so uh, this first cube is very straightforward. I'm just gonna jump up this tower right here, and skip a bunch of puzzles that I needed to do in order to get up here normally. That was almost bad, but I saved it. God bless these uh, mid-air kicks. All right, so we're just gonna go through here. Uh, that blue thing on the bottom is a salamander. Don't worry about him, he's cool. He won't hurt us. Oh yeah, by the way, the ceiling does not exist, apparently. Yeah, the yeah. roof yeah. just doesn't have collision. You can just jump right through it. All right, and a soft lock. Yeah. Good. All right, cool. So, uh, fun fact, you can die in the hub world, and I've, I've done it a couple of times. I'm not ashamed to say it. Uh, it's usually, I usually die when I try to cross this bridge. It's very easy to, like, especially when you're diving, to just lose track of where you're going and just fall off. Yeah, because she R dives directly in whatever direction you're holding. And so if you're not holding exactly up, She'll fly off to the side and fly off the bridge. You also have no control after she dives. So when you dive, you are committed to that angle, regardless whether you fall or not. Yeah, it's great. It's like Mario so, Sunshine, but worse. <laughs> so uh, I'm, you, normally you're supposed to use a catapult to get to this planet right here, but I'm just going to do that. Uh, you're also supposed to like freeze these Sims icons but uh, to break this glass, but you can also just do that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's just not there. And then you and then you actually die afterwards, and it plays the death music. I didn't though. <laughs> yeah, he, this time he didn't. It can happen though. Yeah. yeah, it can happen, and it's great. A lot of the a lot of the cubes in uh, Super Mario Galaxy are very fast because they don't expect you to uh, like use the fact that all the planets are so close that you can jump from one gravity field to the other. You know, there was a moment there where I actually thought you were talking about Super Mario Galaxy, and I was like, wait. <laughs> no, this, this is Super Mario Galaxy. This is Mario Galaxy. <laughs> this is the third Mario. Yeah. Super Mario Galaxy 3, 2. 3, 2, exactly. All right, so uh, as you saw there, there's a nice house. I'm going to be visiting that in a bit. But first, I actually have to get a screw. It's just over here by uh, this ring. It's just at the end. Uh, what is okay? okay. Cool. Nice. Yep. That, 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 that happened. just happened. The gravity fields in this game just don't work well sometimes. Yeah, so you can have that, or you can have wonky. times where the gravity field just stops tracking you, and you just fly off. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> so I'm just gonna repair this cannon. Uh, Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, sorry about this audio, yeah, guys. It's it's all right. It'll uh, go away after a few seconds. There it goes. There you go. 
All right, so again, just gonna slide on my belly because it's faster. And then we're just gonna, you know, experience being on ice without actually being on ice. That's the best part. Uh, so this cube is very easy. Just gotta not fall off. All right, I couldn't kick there. I don't know why. Um, let's just get back up here. There's another way you can actually do this. You can actually clip yourself into the ice house yeah. and just jump around and grab the cube that way. But it's really slow, and you can get stuck really easily. It's also so unnecessarily I just got to shimmy halfway through there, and then I could just push myself right through. And there's the cube. That was also a puzzle, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Puzzle. Yeah. All right, we're good. Yep, we're good. Shout out to Ice House Skip that existed for one day in the route until Milby was like, wait, you can just jump up the outside. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I don't even know what cube I'm doing next. Oh, I know which cube I'm doing next. <laughs> All right. So uh, show of ends here. Who likes math? Wow, you're all a bunch of nerds. <laughs> um, I don't like math that much, so I'm going to skip it. Okay. Okay. Oh. Sorry to break your heart. I, wanted to, I wanted to do some addition. Well, yeah. Nah. Nah. Numbers are hard. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't uh, add three numbers together to get 11, so I'm just going to skip it. Uh, but first, we're going to need a second screw, which is very close by underneath this jump pad right here, which is there for no reason. That jingle is just so good. Yeah, everything is just so good about this game. So I'm just going to activate that catapult, and then I'm just going to uh, catapult right towards this uh, hill, and we're nice. going to jump. We're going to jump down and grab the cube, and that's Skip doing math. It is super easy to slide off that hill. Yeah. yeah. And, then you, and then you have to do math, which is the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Also, no soft lock. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, so I. I, when I was playing this game casually, I never knew the answer to that puzzle. You guys just told me it was 11, and I was like, all right, I, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> it's somewhere in this world, but I don't know where it is. Yeah, it's, it, I think it's on, like, a, a sign outside of where you actually do the math. Yeah. It's somewhere. All right, so uh, the next cube I'm going to do is the fastest in the run. It's called uh, Icy Dancing Columns, and it's... Pretty straightforward. I just jump up a bunch of columns and get a cube. It's meant to be a lot harder than it is because of the ice physics, but I guess the developer didn't count on oh, yeah. infinite okay. catapult again. Yep. <laughs> Got it twice. Uh, the dev didn't count on people like using the fact that they have a wall jump in the game. Yeah, so I'm just gonna jump up this wall right here and grab it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's that's <laughs> that's the uh, that's the whole cube. In. No soft block. We're good. Yeah. All right. So uh, I just did the fastest cube, and now I'm going to do uh, quite possibly one of the longest cubes in the run, uh, aside from the final one of the uh, phases of the final boss. We have a $50 donation from Jumba, who says, for the soft lock. <laughs> <laughs> I think the PC needs some coffee. <laughs> Thanks for I've that. Literally, never seen that soft lock. <laughs> <laughs> Neither have I. All right, we're back into Super Mario Ga the Galaxy. Three two. Three two. Three two. So um, the next cube I'm going to be going for shows off the swimming mechanics in this game, and they're really good. Uh, you'll you'll see what happens. Really good. Really, really good. You can just put most things he says around air quotes and it would probably still be valid. Yeah, so I'm just going to shoot towards this island and we're going to go underwater over here by this pipe. Uh, turn around. Great turnaround animation. Only told us that I'm, button existed like yesterday. Listen, I thought you all knew, all right? <laughs> it's not in the controls. No, it's not. Apparently it's not. But You're I watching tried. watching him practice and he turned around. <laughs> <laughs> 
And he was like, I thought you all knew about this. It was in the menu. And he was in German, so he couldn't show us. So we switched to English, went back into the game, and it was nowhere in the menu. Yeah, I could have sworn it was in the menu, but it's not. All right, so I pressed the button, and I'm actually walking on land right now. Uh, He's walking underwater, by the way. Careful. Yeah. That's perfectly normal. Yeah, this is fine. That's actually harder than it looks yeah. because if you get any air, it makes it turns you back into swimming. Yeah. But it, it saves like 20 seconds. Yeah, swimming, swimming is, is so really slow. slow. Also, no right, soft block again. No soft block. Yeah. All right, uh, now is my favorite cube in the entire run. Uh, oh, it's, it's the third boss in the entire game. Um, very unique. You'll you'll see why. Uh, probably going to need a bit of serious time for this, though, so... Good, uh, I love the double audio there, too. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> All right. Just got to get to the, uh, the catapults, and then we're good. This is very serious right here. Yep, very, very, very serious. All right, get to the catapult. Are you okay? This is serious. He's sitting up. Oh, it's not okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, all right, serious time. Here we go. Just gotta aim the catapult right, and then we're good. Right there. All right, and... Mm. Just, just listen to that. That is that is what the boss sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> That's what I needed serious time for. <laughs> All right, so uh, basically, uh, what you do for this boss is you make the ball on his back uh, surprised, and then you're able to kick him. And then he does his fire ant cosplay, where he literally sets himself on fire, uh, and then you just gotta kick him three more times, and then he's dead. I, st I still don't know how he made that sound effect. I don't, I don't want to know. <laughs> 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 All right, so that's that boss. That's, that's right, deadly. And no soft block. block All, right. All right, cool. All right, cool. I mean, if you soft block, you just get to you know, hear his voice again. Yeah, that, that would be great. Thing. Nope, never a bad thing. All right, so uh, we're going to go back to Cool Cool Mountain to get a one more cube before getting to Fat the Cat's domain, which is the last level in the game. Yeah, earlier we were talking about all the like the reroutes that you could do. This is one um, that you actually kind of have to do near the end of the game because it does require the screw that you get from uh, Giant inside Bits the Island pi is the actual name of that level. Yeah. Yeah, inside that the, the pipe where uh, I did some excellent swimming is where that screw comes from. This is actually the most recent route, route change. I mean, I say recent, but like, it's like, what, six months or so? I don't even know. Um, about that, like that. Yeah. that seems about right. Yeah. Actually, I know, I think he did it after GD, after AGDQ. So. This game has a rich history. Yeah, of, of us five, and that's it. All right, so uh, basically what I do here, you're supposed to like, I, I can't even remember what you're supposed to do, but I can just jump up the hill like this. Uh, it'd be really horrible if I would soft lock in the world, considering I haven't so far. Oh, uh, no. Nice. No soft lock. Yeah. No soft lock. Got through all 24 without any soft locks on the cubes. That's, that's incredible. That's actually uh, like the race. Okay. Well, that one didn't <laughs> count. <laughs> it, still, it still counts in my book. <laughs> All right, so that's 24, and we're going to go to Fat the Cat's domain and beat up Fat the Cat yeah. for the first time. Yeah, Fat the Cat is the main villain of this game who takes your dog. That's the whole oh, lore yeah. of this game. That's the, you have that's to get the entire your dog story. Back. Yeah, you're trying to get your dog back from Fat the Cat because I guess cats hate dogs, something like that. It's never really explained. Nah. So this is actually the longest cube in the game. Uh, I have to go through a platforming challenge. That's kind of difficult, mainly because of the controls. But uh, yeah, the difficulty spike here is more like an overhang. Yeah. Um, 
the first, you know, 24 cubes in the game are pretty easy, all things considered. And then there's this, which is just one wrong step and you're instantly dead. There's no yeah. coming back. And the best part, the best part about this, there isn't a death plane. Uh, at the bottom, there's a bunch of lava, and that's how you die, quote unquote. Each time you touch the lava, it's one heart. So you have to fall and then take damage every time you hit the lava. The lava is not insta kill. Yeah. It's really embarrassing, especially if you're doing backup strats and you grab an extra heart. So you just kind of have to stand there bouncing. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Also, there's no checkpoints in this until like 60, 70% of the way through the level. Yeah, uh, the checkpoint is the teleporter that's coming up in a bit. Uh, just gonna take it a bit slow here so that I don't fall into the lava. All right, so here's the teleporter. If I die from here on out, I can just use that and come back up here. Uh, luckily, it's not too long from where Fat the Cat is located. I want to I want to reiterate again. The controls for this game are really bad. Mildew's making this look incredibly easy. Yeah. Like if you if you want to buy this game and play it, you will discover that it is not that easy. It's probably on sale. I didn't check. Didn't. Don't really care to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sell this game to people. <laughs> All right, so uh, gonna take this elevator, and on top of this bird, for some reason, is Fat the Cat. That's never explained either. Cats. He's also in the T-pose. Yeah, until oh. you touch him. Yeah. So uh, they say a bunch of stuff, and then he starts to fly. Uh, I didn't oh. get it. You can get a first cycle there where you freeze him and uh, Ready. damage so, him early. So uh, the main gimmick of this is he runs in a really random pattern. I don't know how I didn't hit him. That what? 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 What just happened? I don't know. It's and the music looped. <laughs> all right, it's it's fine. I guess the fight restarted. There we go. It's all right. It felt bad for me that I didn't get that hit. So <laughs> <laughs> it gave me a second chance to redeem myself. Yeah. Fathercat's AI is really buggy here because sometimes it seems like he just runs straight at you. Yeah. And. Decides, decides See, to hate, like that. Yeah, yeah. The, it's, uh, I'm trying to keep my distance. Also, stay as close as possible uh, because you can you can do this without freezing him, and I prefer to do it that way. But also, he can turn around at like any second, and yeah. some people make great noises when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> Sorry, Kona. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Fat the Cat's movement is 100% random. So when we were saying that he could turn around any, like that, he could turn around at any point. Yeah, I thought it, it like, I got really lucky there that he just started to, to jump or else he was coming straight for me and I couldn't do anything about it. And the hitboxes on the meteors are insanely, insanely large. large. It's like the meteor times 15. Yeah, it's, it's, sure. just, it's a really wide hitbox and you can be nowhere near it and still get hit. Which isn't a problem now, um, but in a little bit, it will become an actual problem if he gets hit. All right, so uh, that's that fight. Uh, he says something about going to the moon, and then this happens. I'm just going to let this play out, because this is great. I really wish you could modify this audio clip. I think it would be really good. Yeah, I, I wish too, but it's, it's just great. What? Is that normal? Yeah. Okay, I never have yeah. audio on here. So. Yeah, no, this is this is normal. Well, I mean, we always skip this cutscene, so. No oh, idea. fair. You guys like Dragon Ball? Yeah. <laughs> Love Dragon Ball. It's my favorite anime. Just uh, put the audio of Goku turning Super Saiyan 3 in here and fits it. Can lift rocks. <laughs> <laughs> And with that, we are Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> yeah, and the applause for that. Uh, that guy comes out of nowhere, compliments your hairstyle, and then he gives you a cube. <laughs> He's like, wow, you're really bad now. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so normally you and would have- And we didn't soft lock there. Yeah. <laughs> thank, that's, the last thank, one. that's the final thank one. Thank God we didn't soft lock there, because that would have been, been six minutes, and yeah. that would have been awful. If he soft locks there, he has to redo Fat the Cat, which is an awful fight. All right, so uh, Super Saiyan 3 allows me to 
run faster and move faster. So I'm just going to activate it at the beginning here. Uh, I also get the wing cap from Mario 64. So now you can fly. <laughs> And, Same animation and everything. And the little the little rage texture that goes on her hair also doesn't disappear when you go into worlds. Or teleporters, so you'll actually be able to see it right here. Again, another feature of this of this game. Another great feature. Alright, so because Super Saiyan 3 is fast, we're just gonna activate it right here. I activate it by pressing the freeze button and jump at the same time. And we're just gonna use that teleporter that's conveniently located at the beginning of the level. And we're basically going to fly the rest of the way so that I avoid these meteors. I'm going to try to avoid them as best as I can because if I get hit, I lose rage mode. And I don't want that to happen. Oh, oh no. Hit the, hit the teleporter. Yeah, I'm teleporter. just going yeah. to hit the teleporter. Uh, so for some yeah. reason, when you fly with the wing cap, sometimes R will decide to fly down for seemingly no reason, and it's yeah. incredibly annoying. So yeah. I actually I actually know the reason for that. I did testing on this part because Why I was would really annoyed. This game? I kept dying here, and I was really annoyed why it was working. She flies as, like, she, you can control her for a certain amount of time that's based on how long you hold the stick. So you have what? to get in a certain angle and then let go of the stick and fly. Not again. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me see if I can land on... No. Yeah, you will no, not. Just no. go back yeah. to the Yeah, just try it again. Yeah, flying is I just... Kept, I kept failing the the flight up to the moon, and I would just... I was like, no, I'm done. I'm figuring out why this happens. So you have to, you have to like, flick the stick and make, like, only fly for a certain amount of time. Yeah. So let's... Get up there this time, please. When we were saying the controls are bad. This is right. even worse than. I'm just, just gonna land right here. All right, cool. Wow, would yeah. <laughs> you cut that so close? Yeah, don't worry about it. So ordinarily, uh, to beat the game, you have to collect 40 cubes, and then a platform will appear to the moon. Yeah, but I'm gonna do a very specific like uh, jump, and then we're just gonna fly up to the moon here. Nice. All right, cool. He just skipped like hours of content right yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Hours so, of your life saved. You're welcome. Yeah, so you have to collect 40 cubes to beat the game. There are 40 cubes in, in the, the game. game. So, so you, you, have have to, to, you have to collect basically everything except for the salamanders, which unlock uh, extra stuff, like uh, not being, like having the ability to not go back to the hub when you collect a cube and like, uh, unlocking all the levels and stuff like that. Uh, but with that, you could just go to the moon because nope, of the, uh, the gravity hitbox. So uh, basically, this is the same fight. The only difference is that it's on the moon. So uh, got nothing else really to say about it. So if you want to read some donations. All right, we have a $100 donation from Steegy, who says, all hail bespectacled photographer Girl, soft lock power. <laughs> it's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. And we have two hundred and fifty dollar donation from Chad. It says this donation goes towards the soft locks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad we didn't see more of them. Yes, yeah, same. Right. So again, getting hit here is actually uh, almost worse than Ooh, the first nice fight. One there. Nice, nice. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, it's harder than it looks, but yeah. Mildred just has one more hit to do, and then that's it. Yeah. Yep. That's not time though. Time it's, will come yeah. when the yeah. end. Time will come when the end shows. Yeah. yeah. It literally says the end on screen. And then Fat the Cat teases freeze me too. All right. So which is definitely real. We're gonna hit him again. All right. Cool. That was remarkably easy. You're right by the, the dog, too. It, it puts, I don't, I yeah, it puts, it you, puts you at a, like a set yeah. position. All right, so at the bottom of the screen, that's a lie. No matter how hard I press this A button, you can't skip this cutscene. Just <laughs> isn't possible. And then I think this is meant to tease that he like flies off and crashes his ship somewhere? Who knows? I don't even know. Stay tuned I don't for care. Freeze Me too. Ooh, and time. 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> that was uh, quite possibly the best platformer of 2016. Uh, 
Shout out to GDQ for actually letting me run this. <laughs> uh, shout outs to Vuligen for not being on the games committee so that he so couldn't that this reject could get this. In. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Vuligen. Um, 